Here we will draw select fundamental cerebral cortical areas. To begin, draw a lateral face of the cerebral hemisphere. Include the sylvian fissure and the following sulci, the superior temporal, central, postcentral, and precentral sulci. Now between the postcentral and central sulci, within the postcentral gyrus, label the primary sensory area, Brodmann areas 3, 1, 2. Then between the central and precentral sulci, within the precentral gyrus, label the primary motor area, Brodmann area 4. In front of the primary motor area, label the premotor area, Brodmann area 6. Next, in front of the premotor area, label the frontal eye fields, Brodmann area 8. This area is the human homologue to the rhesus monkey frontal eye fields, the animal model for human eye movements. Now along the anterior sylvian fissure, in the inferior frontal gyrus, in the pars opercularis, Brodmann area 44, and pars triangularis, Brodmann area 45, label Broca's area, the speech output area. Then peel back the superior temporal gyrus, and within the transverse temporal gyri, Heschel's gyri, label the primary auditory cortex, Brodmann areas 41 and 42. Next, within the posterior superior temporal gyrus, label Wernicke's area, the language reception area, Brodmann area 22. Now along the superior parietal lobe, label the where visual pathway, and along the inferior temporal lobe, label the what visual pathway. Higher visual cortical recognition is divided into two streams, dorsal and ventral. The dorsal wear pathway provides spatial localization processing, whereas the ventral what pathway provides object recognition processing. This concludes part one of our diagram.